Demi Lovato has finally made a statement since her split with ex-fiancé Max Eric, and here is everything we know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Gina Rosenberg, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Demi Lovato and Max Eric recently reportedly broke off their engagement, unless you've been living under a rock. Uh, Demi has never made an official statement yet, but it was clear that the two were very much so done. From Demi posting Instagram stories seemingly unbothered with her friends and her dogs, where her million dollar engagement ring was not being worn. The two former lovers unfollowing each other on Instagram, to while Max, on the other hand, has been holding virtual press conferences in his Instagram stories, claiming that he found out about the end of their engagement engagement through the tabloids and trying his best to play a victim while Levotics are seeing right through him and honestly so are we. So are we yeah. Up until this point Demi has not made an official statement about the breakup aside from her team confirming that Max knew about the breakup and he was not blindsided by it whatsoever as he is pretending to be. Gabby uh, tweeted <laughs> something recently that was phenomenal. Oh but yeah, I, I said, you know, uh, for a Mac Demi Lovato's ex-fiance, Max Eric is a four-time Emmy-nominated actor. Daytime. Daytime. Uh, who can't seem to play victim because I'm just not buying his victim thing that he's doing and he's posting incessantly and it's just, it, I see right through it and, and now his posts aren't even making sense. I mean, he goes from posting Demi songs to like Taylor Swift's Bad Blood and shake it off to like his, a, lawyers. his lawyer's image to uh, most recently like promoting like the Jeffrey Epstein documentary that we all watched like months ago. Like I'm just really confused. Scary. I think what Demi is doing is so inspirational to anyone going through a breakup. It's such a great lesson to like not be petty, to like not air your dirty laundry. Publicly. And to, like, publicly and to like take the upper hand and like focus on what you do best. And for Demi that's music. And I think it makes so much sense that she just was like, here's my statement, it's a song. So. Uh, um, now, finally, Demi addresses the breakup, but instead of posting about it on her Instagram story with a black background and a white font uh, and a dove emoji, our queen Demetria is taking the higher road and blessing fans with a song that is clearly about the breakup. She first teased this song the night before dropping it by posting a tweet on her Instagram that said, music is always there for me, song in the AM. And in the AM, her song dropped. As we report this, it is just on her Instagram feed. Demi posted her three minute and 23 second track, Still Have Me, with the caption, music is always there for me. Just like so classy, just so... So much class. Incredible, like what an incredible clapback. I mean, and talk about, geez Louise, like this is one of the most talented like, pop stars and actors in the world. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I love that she did this. When I saw this last night, you guys, I literally like peed a little. So. And, <laughs> and she just went through such a public relationship. I mean, yeah, and, and just like, ugh, like, I feel like people that are constantly overcompensating, they're like, I have this or this, I'm gonna put this on social media. It's like, okay, bro, you obviously have some self-confidence issues, yeah. you know, and we're seeing that here. Mm -hmm. And you know what, it, it makes sense considering everything that has come online from the being obsessed with Selena Gomez, from sliding into Ariana, Ariana Grande's DMs, um, Juju Hadid, like in case you guys From missed all of that. The fan that edits, the fan edits that he liked of people fan editing him and Selena Gomez together. Like, Ugh. it was just like, yeah, you can't. <laughs> You can't. You, you can't. Just, there's it's, no. it's over, bro. She, no. she doesn't know you anymore, Max. Yeah, Move on. You're done. You're done. Uh, it seems like her manager, Scooter Braun, didn't even know about this surprise drop as he commented on the post. Now let's get it up on the streamers with a sweating emoji. MTV con commented, I'm so proud of you. This song gave me chills. You're incredible. And the song really is so beautiful as it's just a piano and Demi's incredible voice with lyrics like, I'm a mess and I'm still broken, but I'm finding my way back. And it seems like someone's stolen all the light I've ever had. Like the world disappeared and I'm laying right here while the silence is piercing and it hurts to breathe. I don't have much, but at least I still have me. She also sings that she'd rather be alone, which could mean that she's happy with herself than being stuck in a relationship that's clearly broken, like the one she was in with Max. So much better to be alone than to be with a toxic, Yes. Yes, it's always better. Person. It's always yeah. better. It's always better to be alone than to be in a relationship that's broken. Because mm -hmm. when a relationship is broken, you can. It's really, really hard to put it back together. Absolutely. And 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 to have a broken relationship after only six months of dating, it's like that's not worth it. I mean, people yeah. fix broken marriages, but that's like years and years and like kids involved and like all that stuff. A six-year relationship where all that's on the line is a ring that you're gonna give back. Like, get move on. Yeah.
tough pill to swallow, but you just have to eventually, you know. You do, you do. <laughs> uh, well, the song is really, really beautiful, and it delivers the message that you don't need anyone but yourself to be happy, as dating isn't about finding your other half, it's about being whole and finding an other whole. And while you, of course, would be crushed after a breakup, it doesn't mean that your world is over because you still have yourself. As Demi sings, quote, everything around me shattered, but it doesn't even matter. This song was important to release to her fans who are likely worried about her since the split, as they know Demi has struggled with addiction and her mental health over the years and might be nervous that this breakup could be a huge trigger for her issues. Well, the good news is, according to the song and Demi's social media, it looks like Demi is going to be just fine. And it also seems like we might be getting some more new music from the singer sooner than we expected, which is always good news. Always good. I'm excited for that like hardcore crushing breakup yes. anthem. Like, she just does that so well. Well, this feels like one for sure. I'm it sure does, there's gonna be yeah. like another one, but I mean, her yeah. new album also was like very much like breakup focus on yep. me stuff. Definitely. So. There was some definite like sad kind of like listening to this. I was like, oh God, like I really feel yeah. for her, you know? Mm -hmm. But that being said, the whole point is like, look, I got myself, I just don't need anyone right now. It's so, so true, and it's so true. And I think that's a good lesson for any of you recently single people out there. Yes. Just do you, because all you need is yourself. 100%. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you guys think about Demi's new song and her breakup with Max Eric? Let us know. I'm Gina Rosenberg. And I'm Gabby Conti, and follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.